In previous episodes, I've made the claim that our times are required in a central kind of growing up as a species, put in the language of creative systems theory, a new cultural maturity. And I propose that cultural maturity's changes make possible a new, more complete kind of common sense. One particularly important way to think about this outcome is that the more systemic picture that results helps us get beyond the simple answer conclusions of ideology. It helps to think about what becomes different in a couple of steps. I've described how cultural maturity involves a new, more mature kind of relationship between culture and the individual. In times past, societal beliefs and structures by providing clear rules to live by and mythologized images of collective identity have served like parents in the lives of individuals. With cultural maturity's changes, the ideological beliefs we share as members of culture become less absolute. We take a more final kind of responsibility for our personal collective actions. We also assume a fullness of authority in our lives that has not before been needed or possible. The second step relates to how cultural maturity is a product of developmentally predicted cognitive changes. The term that creative systems theory uses to describe the result of these changes, integrative metaperspective, is a bit of a mouthful. But it quite precisely captures what is being asked. We'll come back for a closer look, but for now we can put what these cognitive changes involve simply. They challenge us to at once more fully step back from and more deeply engage all of who we are. More specifically, they challenge us to at once step back from and more deeply engage the whole of cognition, all the various aspects of how we understand. One way that integrated meta perspective takes us beyond ideology relates to the way shared truths of times past have been based on projection. We see this with how historically we've tended to divide our worlds into chosen people and evil others, a dynamic that has traditionally led to war. In doing so, we've elevated more idealized parts of our complexity and projected less savory parts on to others. The mythologized beliefs that followed have served us. They've helped create a sense of identity and reduce life's complexities to a more manageable black and white. But it's clear this dynamic can't continue to serve us going forward. In today's world of ever more widely available weapons of mass destruction, continuing to think in chosen people, evil other terms can only be our undoing. With more specific ideological beliefs, whether more political, more religious, even more scientific, we find advocacy that identifies with particular parts of who we are. I've used the metaphor of a box of crayons to represent truth's larger systemic complexity. Creative systems theory defines ideology as what we get when we take a single crayon in this larger complexity and make it the whole of truth. We've tended to make our beliefs final when, in fact, they represent only aspects of what we see when we look at reality in more complete ways. With cultural maturity's changes, we're better able to hold the whole box of crayons. In doing so, we become better able to take into account all that is involved. The ability to do so is becoming increasingly important in every part of our lives. In my most recent book, Perspective and Guidance for a Time of Deep Discord, I highlight how the polarized animosities we more and more encounter today are putting the need for our to succeed in our efforts uh, and sooner rather than later in high relief. Later, we'll look at places where projection and identifying with particular parts of our complexity has played a major role in our experience that are not so obviously ideologically, cert ideological. Certainly, we, we see this how we have elevated leaders. I've written extensively how leaders in a culture mature world are viewed simply as 
ordinary people with tough jobs. They are no longer mythologized. It's key, too, to how we have experienced both love and gender. Later, we'll come back to looking at how both Romeo and Juliet style romantic love and traditional ideas about gender differences have been based on projection and mythologizing. Once more, we find the paradox I've noted previously. In being challenged to leave behind the absolutist single crayon in the box, mythologized assumptions of ideology, we are being asked to think in ways that are more complex and demanding. And at once, because culturally mature perspective helps us better get our minds around all that is involved, reality becomes, if not simpler, certainly more straightforward. With it, much of the soap opera of life fades to the background. That which has real substance steps to the fore. We discover the new common sense on which our future depends. Again, I look forward to your thoughts and questions.